Let me start by making something clear. Yes, Gwen Stacy did have sex with Norman Osborne, the Green Goblin. My contention, though, is not about that, but about the confusion that this was an affair or constituted unfaithfulness towards Peter. Or did Osborne actually manage to manipulate her to sleep with him? You decide. Throughout the years, Spider-Man comics have tackled a bunch of controversial storylines. But there's one particular storyline that could be the most ludicrous of all. Since past, written by J. Michael Straczynski, Peter fights a pair of villainous twins who are later revealed to be Gwen Stacy's children. Who's the father? Norman Osborn himself. Peter receives a cryptic letter from Gwen, written before her death while she was in Paris. Since Gwen has always been a ghost of regret looming over Peter's head, he is shaken by this and later visits her grave. At the cemetery, Peter is attacked by two mysterious figures, a man and a woman, but ultimately he manages to escape. With the clues in Gwen's letter and some DNA testing later, which involved digging up Gwen's grave, he discovers the mysterious figures were twins, Sarah and Gabriel, who are in fact Gwen's and Osborne's children. Mary Jane's role in this story was to fill in the gaps as she overheard a fight between Gwen and Norman in which their situation was exposed. Sometime around Captain George Stacy's death in The Amazing Spider-Man No. 90, Gwen met with Norman and feeling sorry for his mental state, connected with him, leading to them having an affair. Sometime after, she traveled to France but eventually returned to New York and got back with Peter. During her trip, the twins were born. There are a few possible reasons why Gwen Stacy might have slept with Norman Osborne. Perhaps she felt like she had no other choice, or maybe she was trying to get information from him. It's also possible that Gwen was attracted to Norman and wanted to be close to him. Perhaps we could argue she did something wrong. That it was wrong for her to have slept with the father of her friend Harry, or to have not told Peter about her encounter with Norman or being pregnant with his children. While Mary Jane keeping Gwen's secret from Peter can be seen as a betrayal, it really is more of a sacrifice of sorts. She kept this from Peter because she promised Gwen and wanted to avoid tarnishing Peter's memory of her. This was solely a story to move the plot forward, no matter how scandalous the theme or how outraged the fans would be.